Welcome to the Pharmacist's Voice podcast, episode 269. I'm your host, Kim Newlove. We're talking about terzepatide today. This is the 28th episode in my drug name pronunciation series. If you are new to this series, welcome. We don't cover pharmacology here, we just talk about pronunciations. In this episode, I'll divide terzepatide, Mounjaro, and Zepbound into syllables, tell you which syllables have the emphasis, and then share my sources. The written pronunciations, of course, can be helpful, so you can find all three written pronunciations in the show notes on thepharmacistsvoice.com. Let's get started with terzepatide. Terzepatide has four syllables. Ter, like turbocharged, zep, which rhymes with pep, a, uh, which is a short A sound, or a schwa A, if you like. It's the A in adoption, a, uh, and tide, like the ocean tide. Put that all together and you get terzepatide. Emphasize zep. See if you can hear that emphasis when I say it slowly. Terzepatide. Terzepatide. Next up is Mounjaro. Mounjaro has three syllables. The first one is the key to pronouncing this drug name correctly. It is Moun, which rhymes with down, as in your blood sugar should go down when you use Mounjaro. Jar is the second syllable. It's jar like a jar of strawberry jam. And the last syllable is O, like the letter O in the alphabet. Put that all together and you get Mounjaro. Emphasize jar and O. See if you can hear that emphasis when I say it slowly. Mounjaro. Mounjaro. Again, the whole key to saying this drug name is the first syllable, moun. Moun like down. Our third and final drug name today is Zepbound. Zepbound only has two syllables. Zep, which rhymes with pep, and bound, as in, you're bound to say all three of these drug names correctly today because you heard them here on the Pharmacist's Voice podcast. Put both syllables together and you get zep bound. Emphasize zep. See if you can hear that emphasis when I say it slowly. Zep bound. Zep bound. It sounds a little bit to me like you soften the P in the first syllable by bringing your lips together. Zep bound. Zep bound. How did I learn how to say terzepatide, Mounjaro, and Zep bound considering all three drug names are fairly new to me? I've been out of school since 2001. We definitely did not have these three drug names when I was a pharmacy student. So what I did was I used three different resources. Number one, the USP Dictionary Online. I used that for terzepatide. Mounjaro's Medication Guide is my second source, and Zepbound's Medication Guide is my third source. Let's focus on terzepatide and the USP Dictionary Online for just a minute, then I'll say a couple of words about Mounjaro and Zepbound's Medication Guides. The USP Dictionary Online is a subscription-based reference. It is my go-to reference for generic drug name pronunciations like terzepatide. The USP Dictionary breaks drug names down into syllables and shows me which syllables to emphasize. There's also a pronunciation guide, which helps me say the consonants and vowels correctly. The vowels are the trickiest part for me, unfortunately, so I really appreciate the pronunciation guide. Without the pronunciation guide, I wouldn't know if I'm looking at a short A or a long A. It's very helpful. FYI, I am not compensated in any way for mentioning the USP Dictionary online, and I don't work for USP, I just like their dictionary. How about Mounjaro and Zepbound? Unfortunately, there is no dictionary for brand name drugs. Ooh, how I wish there was one. Their websites were my go-to resources for this episode. I found the medication guides under the Prescribing Information tab on both websites. In my humble opinion, the best resource for brand name drug pronunciations is the drug sponsor. And why is that? It's like a proud parent getting their own child's name right. For example, Kiana was one of my college roommates, and her name is spelled Q-I-A-N-A, -A, Kiana. 
I didn't know how to say it when I read it, but when I called her house to ask her a question before fall semester started in 1996, her mom told me how to say her name. I hope you appreciate that analogy. If you name the drug, you tend to say the name right. That is the point. Again, the medication guides for Mounjaro and Zepbound contain written pronunciations. You can find those written pronunciations in the medication guides under the prescribing information tab for each drug's website. So go to Manjaro's website, click on prescribing information, go to Zepbound's website, click on prescribing information. Just keep scrolling down until you find the medication guide section, which is after section 17, the patient counseling information. The videos for healthcare professionals also provide great information. You'll find the spoken drug names there. I'll put links to both websites in the show notes on thepharmacistsvoice.com. Find them there. Let's review. I divided terzepatide, Mounjaro, and Zepbound into syllables. I talked about which syllables to emphasize. I shared my sources, and I put the written pronunciations in the show notes on thepharmacistsvoice.com. I hope you'll agree that seeing the written pronunciations in the show notes and comparing them to the spoken ones you're listening to in this podcast episode is helpful. Comparing provides clarity. That does it for this episode. Thank you for joining me to learn how to say terzepatide, Mounjaro, and Zepbound. To find the show notes for this episode, go to thepharmacistsvoice.com, click on the podcast tab, and search for episode 269. In the show notes, you'll find the written pronunciations for terzepatide, Mounjaro, and Zepbound, a link to the USP Dictionary Online, which again is a subscription-based resource, a link to the pronunciation guide for the dictionary, which is available at no cost on the American Medical Association's website. You'll also find links to Mounjaro's website, Zepbound's website, links to the other 27 episodes in my drug name pronunciation series, my social media links, my online courses, and much more. Lots of links today. Everything you need is on thepharmacistsvoice.com. If you know someone who needs to learn how to say terzepatide, Mounjaro, or Zepbound, please share this episode with them. And if you like this podcast, please subscribe to or follow the Pharmacist Voice podcast on your favorite podcast player and YouTube to get each new episode right when it comes out. Thanks for listening today. I'll talk to you next Friday.